Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have an exciting video. It's your favorite kind and my favorite kind to make as well. It is going to be an unboxing video of my new Chinese New Year handbag. So we have a mischievous little girl right here and you can see that she cannot wait to have a space in the back house. Who is excited? I think she is excited to come out of her box. But a little bit on having a new bag for Chinese New Year. We Chinese believe that during the Lunar New Year, we should have new clothes, new shoes, new underwear, new pajamas, and of course, I need a new handbag as well. So what's missing from my collection? I wanted something that is not a repetitive of what I have. So yes, immediately it struck my mind that I am missing this particular style of handbag from MS. And yes, so I went out and brought her home. We can see that she's so excited. She actually ran into the bag house just now and placed herself right in the middle. Well, you think you're special, don't you? That you deserve the middle spot. So let's get started. Shall we let her come out of the box? Yes, of course. I don't know if you guys can guess which handbag this is if you have watched my reel. When I went shopping for my CNY handbag, well, you can see that the box is of a different dimension than what I usually have. So she's pretty different and I'm so excited myself. I haven't seen her since I brought her home. Here, ta-da! And this one comes in a special edition box because it's a special edition handbag. Okay, let's see what's in this little pouch right here. Ooh, it's a strap. So I'm going to keep you in suspense a little bit longer. This is a thin strap. Okay, made any guesses yet? Thin strap in the color of cream which is all you RMS experts out there nata now we have in here a little pouch This is a little pouch. Made any guesses yet? Are you MS experts? I'm sure by now, people who know will know what handbag this is. So this is a little backpack. Mm -hmm. Let's reveal the handbag. Oh, isn't she absolutely adorable? So this is the Picto mini Kelly doll in nata and um, yellow and I think this color is mauve sylvester I don't know the name of the yellow gotta check but here she is the most darling little handbag and I am so obsessed with her so she comes with a little backpack which adds to the cuteness of this bag I'm going to put the backpack on so you guys can have a look at how this backpack is going to be on the bag so this mini Kelly isn't like the usual mini Kelly it does not have any feet on and uh, most of them have got feet on. I'm just going to show you guys an example of what I mean by feet. So let's do a comparison on the size. The usual one looks a little bit longer, quite a bit longer actually. 
So this one is really, really tiny. In my opinion, much smaller than the usual Mini Kelly. I think about like 3 cm smaller, like that. And she doesn't have any metal feet on, so I don't have to put on shoes for her. Okay, now let's put the backpack on. So she has these two little loops right here. That is optional whether you want to hang the little backpack on her or you just want to have her without the backpack. I feel like I like it without the backpack for certain kind of outfits and with like a more casual style, it actually looks really edgy with the backpack. Now let's slot this on, put this through. It's correct and you just slide the backpack down. So I really like this color, it's a Nata because I've always um, wanted a Mini Kelly in Nata color and since I just got the grease pile in the normal Epsom leather which I use like almost every day and then I was like you know, I think I need a Nata color. I thought I'll spoil myself a little bit more by getting something special like that because you guys know how I love my dolls. I love my doll houses, my dolls, and of course my bubblegum pink Kelly doll and Mr. Rouge, Miss Bubblegum and Mr. Rouge needs a new friend. So let's bring them out and you can see the difference between the dolls. So these two are the same kind of dolls. They are the usual Kelly doll, whereas this one is the new Picto Kelly doll. So they got a new friend and they are going to be sitting together. So when I bought these Kelly dolls from the store, it was at a really, um, like if I tell you the price and the secondary market price for these dolls now is just like absolutely unbelievable. So these I bought for like about 5,500 Singapore dollars. And I mean, you guys can Google the value right now, which I feel like the dolls really go up in value very fast. And it's worth having them in the collection which is why I decided that if I'm going to get a Nata color bag, make it special. And so this is Miss Picto. So this is a strap. Let's put her straps on. There's plastic on it. I'm just not sure of red on me. And the neutral colors usually look so good on me. And I can match a neutral color with almost anything. Just like my outfit today, looks perfect with this new Picto doll. And the thing is, when you use a special edition bag like this, she is always going to be the center of the conversation. This is how I would normally use her because I like to carry my bags this way. I'm not big on uh, sling bags personally. I just always love like my hand carry bags like that. But of course, if I want to keep my hands free, I could choose to sling it. Let's see how she looks slung on. She's very small. Super cute. The backpack is kind of getting in the way, I have to be honest. So I'm just going to remove it for the moment so that she can be a little bit flatter. But this, this is quite useful for like when you want to put credit cards. I don't think it's going to fit anything too big, maybe like a flat compact powder. You can also use it like on your belt loop, I guess. Like a little pouch. but. I much prefer her without this backpack, honestly. She just looks so much more at ease, not so awkward, like when this thing is sticking out. But of course, if you sling, I think it's going to fit a bit better. And if you hand, help, uh, and if you hand hold her, it's not going to be a problem. But the problem comes when you are trying to cross-sling. 
Yep. Fair. She's super cute. Hello, hello. She is so cute with the eyes and the hands. These hands and the feet are movable. Say hi. Hello, I'm so excited to join the family. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little bit on her interior because I myself do not know what's inside. Okay, there is nothing inside except for I see this number right here which is like I think the crossman identification number now they print them here so the interior is in a Swiss leather also in the color Nata and she's got MS Paris made in France embossed here in silver she has got palladium hardware these feet are movable and so are the hands super cute i love dolls and you can see that the sides are kind of like steps it's like a pixelated doll Yes, that's why she's called the Picto, pixelated doll. Let's see how she looks when I sling her to the side. We come to the end of the video guys. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Do tell me what you think of my new Picto doll in the comments below. Don't forget to show me some love. And Miss Picto and me will see you in the next video. Ciao.